everyone it's me Jenny and welcome to my channel lovingly Ni. so in this video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this diaper cover um, this is for baby age one month to six months old and this is how it looks like okay so this is the front and this is the back so the front as you can tell it is um, the front part right here is narrower compared to back part which is wider okay so for the measurement the waist part it is 14 inches circumference around and for the hip area circumference around is 17 inches okay so from the top to the crotch it is seven and a half inches okay so in this video I'm going to show you step by step on how to crochet so right here it is for the waist area it is crochet using single crochet stitch and the rest is crochet um, using the half double crochet stitch so in this video um, the tutorial is going to be this one right here this cream color diaper cover and the material that you need are medium weight yarn number four or worsted weight yarn and for the crochet hook five millimeter um, also it is depends on how tight or how loose you crochet and also depending on the yarn that you use so the result might be um, a little bit off from the measurement that i gave okay so without further ado let's start okay so we're going to start by making the waistband right here so start by making slip knot okay so now once you make your slip knot now we're going to chain eight okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so now once you chain eight now we're going to start row one so for row one we're going to make six single crochet stitch and we're going to start from the third chain from the crochet hook right here okay one two three the first single crochet in the in the third chain from the crochet hook okay so one two I'm just going to crochet the tail as I go three four five and six okay so done with row one so for row two until row 44 it's the same repeat each row start with chain one now turn the work and we're going to make six single crochet as well um, the first five single crochet we're going to crochet in the back loop okay so this is the front loop and this is the back loop so one two three four five five single crochet we crochet in the back loop and the last single crochet we're going to crochet both front and back loop okay so we're going to start at the first stitch right here first stitch crochet one single crochet in the back loop one second stitch one single crochet in the back loop two three four five and the last stitch single crochet number six you're going to crochet front and back loop and six okay so now you're going to repeat the same start with chain one turn the work make six single crochet okay so now we're going to do row three so first um we're going to make six single crochet um five single crochet all crochet in the back loop 
and the last single crochet single crochet number six we're going to crochet the front and back loop okay so one two three four five and single crochet number six the last stitch crochet both front and back loop okay so go ahead and finish up until you reach row 44 and after row 44 I'm going to show you how to join both ends and do this part right here okay so go ahead and crochet until row 44 and um, once again each row start with chain one and turn the work make six single crochet stitch um, across all single crochet crochet in the back loop except for the last stitch where you crochet both um, front and back loop okay so I'll see you once again okay so once you crochet until row 44 so two right here this two four six eight ten two four six eight twenty two four six eight thirty two four six eight forty forty two and forty four okay so now we're going to join both ends together um, we're going to single crochet six stitches six single crochet on both the um, both ends of the band okay so start um, chain one right here after you done the last row of 44 chain one now make sure the band is not twisted and you're going to put both ends together and you're going to crochet single crochet both side okay so right here one two three four five and six okay so once you join both ends together by making the six single crochet now um, the seam right here is going to be the inside so what you're going to do right now is you just turn it like so okay so the seam is going to be the inside part and this is going to be the right side okay the wrong side is the seam the right side is the um, the front okay so now we're going to do 44 half double crochet stitch right here okay so start with chain one so this is going to be round one where we crochet in a round so start with chain one chain one does not count as stitch count so now we're going to make 44 half double crochet stitch around so basically we're going to make one half double crochet on each row okay we made 44 rows of the band and now we're going to place the half double crochet stitch on each of the row okay so go ahead and finish up make 44 half double crochet stitch and I'll see you once you're done Forty-two, forty-three, and forty-four right here. Okay, so once you made forty-four half double crochet stitch, go ahead and slip stitch at the first half double crochet right here. Okay, so done with round one. This is how it looks like. Now for round two, you're going to start with chain one. And this time we're going to turn the work we're going to crochet the wrong side okay so start with chain one chain one does not count as stitch count and now we're going to make 44 half double crochet stitch around 
Okay, so basically you're just going to make one half double crochet stitch in each stitch until you reach the very last stitch right here. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round two and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you crochet round two, you made 44 half double crochet stitch around. Now go ahead and slip stitch in the first half double crochet stitch. And so far, this is how it looks like. And now for round three, we're going to make four stitch increase. We're going to start with chain one, turn the work. Now we're going to make ten half double crochet, one in each stitch. Starting right here, the same stitch where we did the slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so after you make 10 half double crochet, now in the next stitch, we're going to make 2 half double crochet stitch. Okay, so 1 and 2. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the same sequence total 4 times. So you're going to make 10 half double crochet stitch, 1 half double crochet in each stitch. And after you made the 10 half double crochet stitch, Next stitch right here, you're going to make um, the increase stitch where you make two half double crochet stitch in one stitch. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round three. Uh, make ten half double crochet and two half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so I'm going to make my second increase, but first I'm going to make ten half double crochet. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next stitch, two half double crochet, one and two. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round three, and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done round three you made total of four stitch increase and the increase is after every 10 half double crochet stitch so for round three you should have total of 48 stitches around now go ahead and slip stitch in the first half double crochet stitch so so far this is how it looks like okay so next for round four um, start with chain one and turn the work and we're going to make 48 half double crochet stitch and uh, basically just make one half double crochet stitch in each stitch okay so just to remember after you chain one turn the work and we're going to crochet in around 48 half double crochet stitch okay so go ahead and finish up round four and i'll see you once you're done Okay, so once you're done round four, you made 48 half double crochet stitch around. Now go ahead and slip stitch in the first half double crochet stitch right here. Now we're going to do round five, start with chain one, turn the work. And for round five, we're going to make four stitch increase. And the increase is going to be after every 11 half double crochet stitch. Okay, so start with chain one. This chain one does not count as stitch count. So now we're going to make 11 half double crochet stitch. And we're going to start right here, the first stitch. Same stitch where we did the slip stitch. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten eleven okay so once you made eleven half double crochet stitch now next stitch right here we're going to make two half double crochet stitch okay one 
and two. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the same sequence where you made 11 half double crochet, one half double crochet in each stitch, and two half double crochet in the next stitch, and repeat the sequence total four times. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round five, and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done round five, you made total of four stitch increase, and now go ahead and slip stitch in the first half double crochet right here. So for round five, you should have total of 52 half double crochet stitch around, 52 stitches around. So now for round six, start with chain. Okay, so now we're going to start round six. So start with chain one and turn the work. Round six, we're going to make 52 half double crochet stitch around. So basically, we're just going to make one half double crochet stitch in each stitch. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round six and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done crochet round six, go ahead and slip stitch in the first half double crochet stitch right here. Okay, so so far this is how it looks like. And all the slip stitch right here, this is going to be at the side, so not to worry about it. So now we are done with crochet in a round. So next I'm going to show you how to crochet the back part right here. So as you can see, um, this is the back and this is the front. The back is slightly bigger compared to the front. The front is slightly narrower. Okay, now um, first we're going to do the back part right here. So once you're done round six, you did a slip stitch. Now chain one and we're going to turn the work. As you can see, all the stitches are at the wrong side. Right side is right here. Okay, so we're going to crochet the wrong side. We're going to start with chain one. Chain one does not count as stitch count. And now we're going to make 28 half double crochet stitch. And going to start same stitch where we did the slip stitch right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Okay, so just going to double check the stitch count. 28 half double crochet, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so this is count as the first row for the back part of the diaper cover, the bum part. Okay, so now we're going to start row 2. We're going to start with chain 1 and turn the work. So for row 2, we're going to make two stitch decrease um, beginning of the row and at the end of the row okay so we're going to make the first decrease and we're going to do the half double crochet decrease and for the decrease we're going to use up two stitch so yarn over hook in the stitch yarn over pull up a loop now yarn over hook in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop now you have five loops on your crochet hook. Now yarn over and pull through all five loops. Okay, so now we made the first half double crochet decrease, the first decrease of the row. And now we're going to make 23 half double crochet stitch, one half double crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay, so once you made twenty-three half double crochet, you should have three stitch left. One, two, three. And now we're going to make the second decrease right here. Second half double crochet decrease. Okay, so once you made the decrease, now we're going to make one half double crochet stitch in the very last stitch right here. Okay, so for row 2 of the back bum of the diaper cover, you should have total of 26 stitches, 26 half double crochet. So now for row 3, going to start with chain 1, turn the work, and we're going to make 2 stitch decrease as well, right here and right here. Okay, so first we're going to make the first half double crochet decrease. Next, we're going to make 21 half double crochet stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so once you made 21 half double crochet, now you should have 3 stitch left right here. 1, 2, 3. Now we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease right here. Okay, so now at the very last stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet stitch. Okay, so done with row 3 for the back bum of the diaper cover. So for row 3, you should have total of 24 stitches. And now we're going to do row 4, start with chain 1, turn the work. We're going to make the first decrease right here, the first 2 stitch. Okay, so after you made the half double crochet decrease, now we're going to make 19 half double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so once you made 19 half double crochet, now go ahead and make the second half double crochet decrease right here. Next, at the last stitch, you're going to make one half double crochet. Okay, so for row 4, you should have total of 22 stitches across. Okay, so now for row 5, start with chain 1, turn the work, we're going to make 2 stitch decrease as well, right here and right here. Okay, so we're going to start with the first half double crochet decrease. Now we're going to make 17 half double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so after you made 17 half double crochet, now we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease. And lastly, at the last stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet stitch. 
So for row 5, you should have total of 20 stitches across. Now we're going to do row 6. Row 6, we're going to start with chain 1, turn the work. Now we're going to make the first half double crochet decrease right here. Now we're going to make 15 half double crochet stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so after you made 15 half double crochet, now we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease. And at the very last stitch, you're going to make one half double crochet stitch. Okay, so for row 6, you should have 18 half double crochet stitch across, 18 stitches across. Okay, so now we're going to do row 7. Start with chain 1, turn the work. We are going to make the first half double crochet decrease. Okay, so now we're going to make 13 half double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so after you make 13 half double crochet, now we're going to make the second decrease right here. Okay, so after you made the second decrease, at the very last stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet stitch. So done with row 7. For row 7, you should have 16 stitches across. Okay, so now we're going to do row 8. Row 8, start with chain 1. Turn the work. Now we're going to make the first half double crochet decrease right here. Now we're going to make 11 half double crochet stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so once you made 11 half double crochet stitch, now we're going to make the second decrease. And at the very last stitch, you're going to make one half double crochet stitch. And done with row 8. Row 8, you should have total of 14 stitches across. Now for row 9, start with chain 1. Turn the work. And row 9 is the last row where we're going to make the um, decrease. Okay, so now we're going to make the first decrease, first half double crochet decrease right here. And now we're going to make 9 half double crochet stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so after you made 9 half double crochet, now we're going to make the last decrease of the row. Right here, last half double crochet decrease. And at the very last stitch, you're going to make 1 half double crochet stitch. Okay, so for row 9, you should have total of 12 stitches across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so for the last row, row 10, start with chain 1, turn the work. So for row 10, we're going to make 12 half double crochet stitch across. So basically, we're going to make 1 half double crochet stitch in each stitch. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so once you're done, go ahead and chain 1 to secure stitches and cut the yarn. Um, just cut about this long. Um, this is maybe 4 inches. Okay, so now we're going to do the front part of the diaper cover. Um, this part right here. Okay, so we're going to start by making slip knot. And we're going to start right here, the next stitch. Okay, this is the last stitch of the back part of the diaper cover. And we're going to start next to it right here okay so we're going to chain two one two and this time this chain two count as stitch count um count as the first half double crochet stitch okay so now we're going to make 23 half double crochet stitch okay so after you chain two now we're going to make 23 half double crochet stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so the last stitch, it should be next to chain one from the back part of the diaper cover okay so now we're going to do row two and so far this is how it looks like so for row two we're going to start with chain one and turn the work so now we're going to repeat exactly same as what we did right here where we decrease at the front um, beginning of the row and at the second and third last stitch of the row okay so we're going to make the first decrease right here first half double crochet decrease so now we're going to make 19 half double crochet stitch one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 okay so once you made 19 half double crochet stitch you have two stitch right here okay so one two and as i mentioned earlier this um chain two beginning of row one it count as stitch count so now we're going to make the second decrease right here And we're going to make one half double crochet stitch in the chain. Okay, so done with row two. Row two, you should have 22 stitches across. So for row three, start with chain one, turn the work. And basically, you're going to repeat as I mentioned, same as right here. You're going to do decrease. Um, the first two stitch 
the first decrease is at the first two stitch and you're going to make one half double crochet stitch until you have three stitch left so you're going to do the second decrease at the second and third last stitch and at the very last stitch you're going to make one half double crochet stitch okay so go ahead and continue decrease until you have 12 stitch left and the, um, the last decrease row for the front part of the diaper cover um, is at row 7 okay so go ahead and finish up decrease until you have 12 stitches left and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done you crochet until you have 12 stitches left now for um, this row this is row 7 so row 1 is right here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so next row 8 and row 9 we just basically going to start with um, both rows start with chain 1 turn the work and going to make 12 half double crochet stitch across okay so both rows start with chain 1 and make 12 half double crochet stitch across okay so go ahead and finish up row 8 and row 9 and I'll see you once you're done okay so done both row 8 and row 9 so now the last part is we're going to um, single crochet both ends together and for this part we're going to turn the wrong side okay we're going to turn inside out because we want the seam to be at the inside part of the diaper cover so this is the seam for the waist band area and for this part we're going to do 12 single crochet both ends okay so chain one and now we're going to align the stitches and we're going to single crochet both ends okay 12 single crochet so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and lastly right here 12 okay so done now we're going to chain one to secure stitches and you're going to cut the yarn okay just cut enough for you to weave in end okay so now we're going to weave in all the tail you can use needle to weave in your tail or you can use smaller crochet hook I like to use smaller crochet hook Okay, so once you're done, you're going to turn it inside out or outside in and this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is the back and this is the front. Okay, you can tell that by um, the back, it has it's wider compared to the front or if you want to make it more distinct, you can put maybe a bow or something at the front to make sure that you're not confused which one is the front and the back okay so that's all for now thank you so much for watching i hope you find this tutorial easy to follow and if you have any question leave your question at the comment section down below i'll try my very best to reply give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share this video with your fellow crochet friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already 
and click on the bell notification that way you'll be notified every time when I upload a video and also don't forget to follow me on social media okay so that's all for now thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day take care everyone God bless and bye